What's up, everybody? Welcome to HXP TV. This week, we're going to break down another awesome bear tree in Canada. We had a great time there in Canada. You guys remember last week, I was talking about it with Chris. This week, I'm just going to ride solo, everybody. Um, I just did all the talking last week, and Chris is out of town, so Chad is out of town. So I was like, you know what? It's all uh, from my perspective anyway. I'll just save the poor you know, co-host the trouble of just sitting there with their hands in their pockets and I'll just take it away. Um, you know, if you watched last week, you guys, a little breakdown about the good times I had there in BC with Freedom Hunters and all these awesome vets from America and Canada. Um, we had a lot of interest this year in the hounds, which was super awesome. The last two years, we had several people interested, but this year, everyone wanted to hunt the dogs. So, you know, we had to get real and, you know, take out the dudes that are dead serious on doing it the hard way. Um, you know, spot and stock is a little less um, intense on the body. I think a lot of people have that misconception about hound hunting, thinking it's just going to be easy. And, you know, a lot of big game hunters, which which is great. Admittedly, two of these guys that were hunting with us, avid big game hunters, had a negative view on hound hunting that was totally changed by the end of this trip. And that's what it's all about. You know, get out there in the woods and actually see all the dedication and time and effort into the dogs and how difficult it actually is hunting with dogs. Um, so we first had Michael's bear. Uh, we treat a smaller bear like you saw last week. We let that bear go. We had another race. We got outrun. Uh, the next day, Michael got his bear on the side of the road there, which is just perfect. Lucky. It's exactly luck involved and great shooting. And the dogs found the uh, dead bear. Um, the next person up was James and, and, uh, James was just really funny. He was wearing a tie dye shirt the whole time. And what made me laugh is that <laughs> you guys ever seen that skit on family guy where he's like, um, uh, Peter's in the jungles of Vietnam and he's wearing like a clown outfit. And he's like, y'all are stupid. They're looking for army guys. <laughs> That's what he was saying the whole time. He's like, I'm wearing tie dye. The bears are looking for guys in camo. So <laughs> James is wearing like tie dye every day. It was really funny. Uh, he was a super cool guy. And he's like, I would love to get one with the dogs. Uh, he came with us with Michael. And he was like, wow, this is a lot harder than I expected. Now, obviously, James is in really good physical condition. And uh, he was more than capable of handling the physical aspects of hound hunting. So uh, he was like, heck yeah, I really want to try with the dogs. So uh, we take off. You know, we're starting to go. Dogs are rigging bears. But Lloyd is like, hey, let's take them to this place. I've seen some good tracks. So we get there, um, we're on the way and this bear crosses the road right in front of us. And it was a good bear. So Lloyd is like, let's send them, let's go. So, uh, we immediately just dumped the whole pack. They go in there, they start trailing this bear and you guys, this was just a picture perfect bear race. It was so cool to watch, to see, let James see this race is just perfect. There was about an hour long race. Um, maybe 45 minutes, nice and short. Uh, it was a big bear and, and you guys know the, the big bears, they either don't want to, you know, they'll just walk in bay or, uh, they tree relatively quickly compared to the medium sized bears. Those bears, everyone calls those Nike bears cause they just run like crazy. And it's true. You guys, we, um, we had several multi hour chases. Uh, in my time here in British Columbia, we had one that was 13 hours. We've had some that are nine hours. We've had several that are six hours. These Nike bears that just never stop. This was a big bear. And I was like, man, I hope he's just big and old and fat and lazy and mean. Because he's just going to run, you know, as far as he wants and just be like, all right, these dogs, these annoying wolves that are following me, screw these guys. He either goes up a tree because he knows what to do. Or he sits down and he's just like, all right, come on, let's do this. Get away from me. And uh, nope, he treed. So about 45 minutes, they went across this huge gully. Uh, we lost signal to the dog. We went around the gully, came out the other side, picked him back up on GPS. They were still following the bear. What's so great, you guys, about this team, the Karelian bear dog, Gomer, shot way ahead of the pack of hounds. Uh, him, him and the West Siberian Laika Cedar, she's just a little cute thing. I'm going to throw this video in real quick. I want you guys to see how cute she is. She's like this little fluffy budded. I don't know. She's just adorable. I lead her up to her pen every day. And, and uh, I just look at her little fluffy booty. And I'm just like, oh, you're so cute. Look at this. So 
So it was her and Gomer. Gomer's the black Karelian bear dog. And uh, uh, they just shoot out so far ahead of the hounds, you guys. What a great combination. These these very hot-nosed Laika-type dogs, these Spitz-types dogs, they can just move so quickly through those woods. And they get right behind the bear. And you guys, this is the best part. This is the best part. You turn those dogs loose. They fly down the track. And you're just you're sitting there listening. The hounds thunder away. And then ahead of the hounds, you just hear, bark, 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 bark. and that is the Karelian bear dogs looking right at the bear. They only bark when they're looking right at the bear. So we heard Gomer immediately within about a minute. We're like, yes, Gomer. And then we heard Cedar and we're like, oh yeah, they're looking right at this bear. They're putting mad pressure on him. The bear stopped for a second. You could see the Lycas swirling around the bear on the GPS. And as the hounds were coming up the track, to give the Lycas a reinforcement, the, the bear broke and took off. So then that's when it went down into that gully. We lost it. We come around. Uh, luckily, as we were coming around, we're watching the race. The bear treed or bayed. We weren't sure what. The bear stopped. And then the, the GPS showed that they were treed. So we figured they're looking up. And we come around to a road. We drive up to this gravel pit, this like mining pit. Bears like a hundred yards away in the woods. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, picture perfect. It was super steep to get up to the high point where the bear was up in the woods, but a hundred meter walk, 125 yard walk. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Uh, it was, it was awesome. The bear was tree dropped there. So we, we go up there to the bear tree and we start heading in you guys, that, that magic, that tree magic, baby. We were just listening. As soon as we stopped, I was just like, hey, guys, like, just admire this sound. Listen to the dog's tree, the thunder of the trees. Tree, baby. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the tree. Uh, nope. <laughs> and then... What do you think? It's pretty wild, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Talk to him, Chappy. Talk to him, Chappy. Good boy, Chappy. We go on. Come on, Chappie. Yeah. We go into the tree, we're watching, we're waiting. We knew it was an all right bear. We just didn't know how good of a bear it was until we were walking into the tree and I looked up in like looking towards the tree as I was walking in and I saw this. And I knew that was a good bear. I mean, the way he was just boof like in that tree. And so of course we weren't sure, you know, and we don't we don't do sows if we can avoid it. Obviously, as hound hunters, we know that's one of our greatest strengths is to be able to judge the animal. So uh, we're looking with binoculars, looking for the genitals. We're like going around the tree. We go around the tree. The dogs are holding it treed, which I'm I'm uh, I'm looking up at the bear. But you guys, I'm pretty excited to just <laughs> I really just like dorking out with the dogs. Um, I like to pet them and tell them they're good and, you know, talk to that bear, you know, and all that good stuff. It's very rare that I get to be under a bear tree. Plus, I'm not very good at judging bears, you guys. I'm just not. Like, every bear looks all right to me, um, unle unless it's like a super small one. I'm just not that good, as, and, ju and Lloyd has been judging bears for decades, so I just left that to him. He looks at me, and he's just like, that's a good bear. I, I got a picture of me right here pointing to the bear up in the tree with Lloyd, like kind of smiling at me. And... I was like, that's a good bear, man. So uh, he was like, yeah, let's let's take this bear. And I was like, all right, great. So we tie the hounds back and uh, we take the shot. Ready? Now, here's the thing, you guys. YouTube won't let me show a lot of stuff. So if you guys want to see the raw, unedited version of this, go to our Patreon page, the Houndsman XP Patreon page. I put up the full unedited of Michael's shot and the full unedited of James' shot right here that you guys just saw. I had to take out quite a bit. YouTube censors heavily on hunting uh, footage. So I just want to make sure that we don't uh, get pulled from YouTube. So. Uh, yeah, you guys, this bear was the biggest bear of the trip. And what a win that James got to do it with the hounds. You know, I was joking around all the trip, you know, all the spot and stock fellas. I'm like, we're doing it the right way. We're doing it the hard way. You know, just joking around. But this race really did kind of fall into that stereotype of just like the hounds go and boom, they just treat this bear. Next week's episode, you guys, that is an entirely different story. That bear race and bear tree and bear pack out was a nightmare. This one was perfect monster bear, perfect short race, treed the bear close to the road, perfect everything. The next one, dog work great, dogs did their thing perfectly, treed the bear deep in the woods, the pack out was hell. So you guys... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this this week's episode. I like to keep these short and sweet. You guys know that. Uh, not a lot of blab, and I just want to let you guys know what's going on. 
Uh, we got a great uh, episode next week as well with the last of the bear trees from our friend Jan- uh, um I spaced his name. Anyway, we got next week's bear episode coming up. So you guys, that'll be the last of the bear trees from my trip from British Columbia. A huge shout out to Freedom Hunters for making this all possible. Guys, uh, like and subscribe. That's how we stay in business here at Houndsman XP TV. Show your friends, share this around, you guys. This is, uh, we're trying to make awesome, fun, hound hunting um, companions to the podcast. Uh, this month in June, next week, the episode's going to drop. It's going to be the full length breakdown of my trip to British Columbia. So if you guys want to hear more of the nitty gritty, the technical, the fun uh, that I had here with all the patrons, or excuse me, with all the uh, veterans, Go ahead and uh, check us out, you guys. All mixed up, wherever all major podcasts are shown. Uh, Houndsman XP, all mixed up is my show with Chad Reynolds, uh, the legend himself. So uh, thanks, you guys, for joining us. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you all next week. I look forward to it, and uh, keep hunting those dogs. Catch you all later.